In game three of the four-game series, the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes were at home hosting the Stockton Ports. In the top of the first inning, the Stockton bats were alive as the Ports designated hitter, B.A. Volmuth, comes to the plate with two runners on and hits the ball into left center field to put Stockton in the lead two to nothing. He's gonna get down and potentially go all the way to the fence. Cuevas will pick it up before he gets to the warning track. One in, and now a second runner coming home. Darnell Sweeney's throw the plate badly off the mark. It's cut off by Reeves. Rancho Cucamonga would cut the deficit in half in the third inning and trail two to one as the Quakes' Daryl Sweeney hits the long ball. Sweeney fly ball deep right field. Myriel Richard backtracking, looking up and gone. Darnell Sweeney with home run number eight. The Quakes are on the board and two to one. Gonna put it into that slump right there. Over six last night, but he's back in the hit column in a big way. It was the port's B.A. Volmuth again in the top of the fifth with two runners on. He gets this soft fly ball to fall into center field to score in the run and Stockton leads Rancho 3-1. The Quakes defense shined in the sixth inning as Rancho's third baseman shows off his range and arm by making this spectacular play on a ball hit by Ryan Ortiz. In the top of the seventh, the Port's 2012 first round draft pick, Addison Russell smacks the ball into the gap in right center field. And the 19 year old from Pace High School in Pace, Florida, speeds around the bases for the triple. Russell hustling, burning around second base. He's on his way to third. The throw in is not in time. A few batters later, with runners at first and third, the Quake shortstop Darnell Sweeney is unable to field the hit from Stockton's Tony Thompson cleanly for the inning ending double play, allowing Addison Russell to score from third. The Port's lead is now 4-1. The Quakes cut the deficit in half in the bottom of the seventh inning as Rancho first baseman Chris Jacobs hits a fly ball into center field that's deep enough to score the runner in from third base and the Quakes trail 4-2. In the bottom of the eighth inning with runners on second and third and one out, the Quakes designated hitter Okoye Dixon is at the plate and ties the game on this play. Still in the bottom of the eighth inning, Rancho gets this big hit from Jonathan Garcia. Garcia fly ball into right center field. That's going to be trouble. Flying over and making an attempt is Crocker. He'll get off of his glove and go all the way to the fence. Here's Dixon rounding third. The throw to the plate is In the top of the ninth inning, the Quakes are looking to get the come from behind win. The Ports are down to their last out, and league leading home run hitter Mac Muncie is at the plate with a 2 2 count. with his league-leading 18th of the year. One pitch away. And Muncie deposits it over the right field fence. Unbelievable. We are tied at five. The game goes into extra innings, and in the top of the 10th, with two runners on base, the Port's Mario Richard hits the ball into deep center field that bounces off the wall and scores in two runs, and Stockton regains the lead 7-5. In the bottom of the 10th, the Quakes have runners at first and second with two outs. Jonathan Garcia at the plate, lines the 2-2 pitch into center field to score in a run. But Rancho would fall short and Stockton hangs on for the 7-6 victory. The Ports pitcher Jonathan Joseph gets the win and the Quakes' Eric Edington gets the loss. In game four of the series, the Ports would get the victory 6-4 and win the series, winning three of the four games. The first half ends with the Cal League South standings putting Lancaster in first with a record of 43 and 27, followed by Inland Empire, High Desert, and then the Quakes in fourth with a record of 31 and 39, and Lake Elsinore in last place with a record of 28 and 42. The Cal League North standings have San Jose in first with a record of 43 and 27, followed by Visalia, then Stockton in third with a record of 38 and 32, followed by Modesto and Bakersfield. California League Carolina League All-Star Game will take place on Tuesday at San Jose Municipal Stadium, home of the North Division first half champion San Jose Giants. The game can be seen live on MILB.TV.